Yo, what's up, y'all? On this episode, we got my good friend Joey Gay on the show, and we talk about a woman who bought her own wedding ring. Um, mm-hmm. uh, what a man's ability or what his responsibility as a man is what he should be responsible for. And we talk about people who have disrespectful ways and tendencies and how you know those red flags before you get become the victim of it. Uh, check this out. Always follow us on uh, the best way to help us out is to follow us on the Patreon. Sign up for the Patreon. It's patreon.com slash manschool202. That's the best way to help us keep it doing what we're doing. helps us out a lot. You know, we do bonus content over there. We're, you know, answering listener mail. It's, uh, it's a good time over there at the Patreon. So uh, join us. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first, because if you don't, they won't. What's going on, GYBB? Get your balls back. WWDD work with Dante. Do the sexual revolution is being podcasted, and I am excited. Nice. You nice. know, and now I know I've said that 500 times before, but this time I mean it. This time you mean it? I can feel wow. it. Wow, okay. You ready to rock and roll? I am ready to rock and roll. I am too. Um, uh, a half holiday I'm sweater I'm going to say on. something early since Go they're listening. Since they're listening. Uh, yo, follow us on the motherfucking Patreon. Yeah. Patreon.com, Manschool202. I got to get in my man right here. This this show's going to be special because this, this dude is, uh, I say this a lot, people are friends, <laughs> but this dude is, like, this, this is a cut from the same fabric. Very nice. A old, a old boot. Both of us. <laughs> <laughs> it is an old boot. It is an old boot, but it's, but it's worthy. Uh, let me um, introduce my dude. Funny, funny dude. Good friend of mine. Friend of the show. Give it up for Joey Gay, yo. Give it up oh, for Joey thank Gay. Thank you so much. My dude. You were saying you were excited earlier. Dante, uh, it needs to be said, and a lot of people would be afraid to tell you this, but I am not. You are an excitable fellow. Do you think so? I do. I, I would, Under rare circumstances, yeah. but yes. Dante, not, before you were you, who were you? Were you him? I was you. Was me. Oh, Don't yeah. be. Holy shit, that explains. Could be anybody. I, I was just, Harry, I was just listening to the intro, sure. right? Sure, sure. And even though Menuhin disappointed the fuck out of me <laughs> with his Again. fucking bitch assness. Okay. Oh More shit I that love, the listeners I, don't know about. I lo- I lo- yeah, I know. Yeah. I don't want to get into it. But okay. I, 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 I love that dude, right? Uh-huh. I just was disappointed. Sure. But as I listened to Menuhin Hart, follow that dude on, on his fucking shit, send him a message. Did, he did this. He cut that, the, the intro. Okay. And did the beat and did the editing yeah. and it, it is Manuin does great uh, music. It's fucking dope. Was and it? At Manuin Hart. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, send that motherfucker a message and tell okay. him tell him Dante loves him. Okay. <laughs> Today you love him? I love him. You know me, I just I just get disappointed in people. It's true. That's True. the thing with Joe. Joe Joey and I are a lot are like we what, I don't like, know who to be more worried for. Uh, well, both you of, being like me, be or be, yeah, all right. Let's yeah. be both equally worried. Let's just be both. Um, yeah. We because mm. he finishes my sentences. That's true. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yes, but it's is... only because neither of you know where you were going anyway, right. so it I doesn't go, matter. Well, I go, you fucking, and he goes, bitch. I go, <laughs> where they come from? You know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It said we going. have the chemistry they try to create in '80s buddy cop movies. <laughs> I'm trying to think. So, Except you're we, both you too old for this shit. Yeah, we, yeah, we are both, both too old should, for this shit. We should have did Dragnet together. <laughs> hey, there's still time. We ain't that old. <laughs> um, Joey, welcome, bro. Thank welcome. you. Thank uh, you for having me. I, I'm already enjoying this dumb shit and have lost myself in it. Yeah. I just like to sit around and bullshit with comedians. It's always good to see you good both. Good comedians, yeah. We yeah. have a... We no, have I, a... I talk with a fucking shit comedian as well. I'll, I'll talk to anybody. Yeah, I'm nice. <laughs> We had a Joe. Joe, we, I did Joe's podcast. Now defunct. Yes. I don't know. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll see what the fuck happens. But uh, I was telling a story. You know, I was telling a story, and Harry was like, "I've never heard that story." Yeah. I was like, "Yeah." How could you have not? Well, the interesting thing about Dante is he has great stories. Now, sometimes you'll hear him fifty-seven times, <laughs> the one story, yeah. and then another story he'll never tell you. Not not on purpose. It but just never crossed his mind. But it'll also be. It's, I'm like you, Joey. Yeah. I got 57, 57 times. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you got a lot of stories. All right. It's just because you live life. I have not. That's. This yeah. is where it comes from. Neither of us 
have lived a sheltered life. <laughs> yeah. been it's there. been what rednecks call wide open. But uh, it's uh, another odd thing is my life hasn't been that way in a while, and that is another thing yes, that we share. We, we kind of kind of reformed chilling. maniacs in a way. Um, I although like I, I, I I'm enjoying it more. Mm. Harry was on the phone with me, mm. and I was at the job, and so I'm 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 in the you know I'm in the phone truck. Can't really see. It's huge. This dude's trying to pull out. I don't see him. He honks the horn. I see him in the mirror. I go. Uh, no, I, you know, I move forward to let him out. Um, he pulls up next to me and rolls down the window, and he goes, "Fuck you!" And he gives me no, fuck your life, no, <laughs> bingo. He gave you the California middle finger, the one with the thumb. Yeah, he gave me with the thumb, and I said, uh, and I said, I, and I've been trying to say that I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna ask questions instead of getting mad. I'm just, why sure. would you? What was your? your so I start out. To explain I to him. said, "Doug, I didn't even see you. The first why would time I you didn't see you? Yeah. Why would you give me the finger?" He goes, "You fuck, yo!" But he was instantly disarmed because I wasn't going right, at yes. him. And then he relaxed. And the he was Jedi like, mind trick. And he said, "Uh, I said, I, 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 why would I not move if I thought I was in your way? I mean, it's right." And then he relaxed as he dig, and I go, "You fucking cocksucker!" <laughs> <laughs> Suck my dick, you bitch ass trick. You ain't going to do shit. And he was like, <laughs> Yo, that now is go get your fucking shine box. <laughs> and Harry's like, Whoa, Harry's on the phone. Whoa. I'm just you doing know? my laundry. <laughs> and Dante doesn't Whoa. like it. Dante doesn't explain that he's, he just starts talking some to somebody else. And I didn't see you. I go, Dante, what are you talking about? You didn't see me where? I didn't see you, yo. I didn't see you. And then, oh, now he's in a fight with somebody. I was polite, right? You were polite. You were polite. As soon as he breathed, I was like, you fucking dude, (laughs) fucking cock smoker. (laughs) He was so mad. He was like, and I was like, and then he got really mad Uh, with me. "Ah." And then I said, (laughs) and this is my new shit. You ain't gonna do shit. (laughs) It was just so, you ain't doing it. He you was, know that that guy spent about six hours <laughs> that day just walking around like, are you going to do well, he, fucking he pulled, he pulled, pulled up. He pulled up and then pulled over. No, no. Like, but and he tried to get out and they kind of pulled him back Forget about that. In. Any guy <laughs> that yeah. somebody says that slow, purposeful, you know you're not even just telling him he ain't going to do shit. I want shit. you to know. Right. I'm telling you in a way where I'm enjoying yeah. telling you. You ain't yeah, going to do shit. And that's the sad underlying yeah. truth for him. Yeah. That guy spent a whole uh, day at uh, least living with that. It got under his skin. Uh, you ever have an yeah. argument with a yeah. motherfucker and then take that shit into yeah. three weeks from now? I got one, I, I've, been, they, I got one I've been carrying for two years. Tell me about it. Which one Literally. Uh, no, this? no, I'm not been agreeing with you. Years. Tell me. I, I'm on my motorcycle. Mm. I come, it's, I'm coming home. It's 2 o'clock in the morning. I come up and I, and I'm, and I pull up to the to the light this bmw three dudes in the bmw go pull up and then right i like six eight inches from my leg getting ready to make a, a left on kent avenue whatever over you know the way the, the orthodox jews are right <laughs> the uh an unnecessary detail to this. N- no it's important <laughs> Because they was out. <laughs> okay. Oh, they were. Okay. Sorry. They was I, out. I retract that. I retract that. Poor them or something, some shit they was doing. I understand. And, uh, Why are Hasidic Jews walking I, in the middle of the street for their holidays? It's it. a side note. We'll get yeah. back what? to it. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I go, I go yo, what the, f- what the fuck? Not even really hosta. And he goes, what, what the fuck? And, and, I, and I go, I, I'm like looking at this motherfucker like you just pulled it. And then he goes and he reaches in the glove compartment and pulls out a gun. Stop it. Right? And he's like, what the fuck you going to do? I'll make you leak, motherfucker. Right? Oh, goodness. And I, 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 I had a boot knife on me, right? And I wanted to <laughs> I, I wanted to put it in his neck. I understand. Mm. And and not just put it in his neck, but I wanted to put it in his neck and then open him. Oh, just goodness. Like like you open an envelope. This you know, got dark like, early. Yeah, and... And I and I said to myself, "There's no Christmas card. Like There's no Christmas card in there." <laughs> oh goodness! I, hey, where's my 
had five hours, yeah. Grandma. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> when those sleigh bells ringling, jing, jing, jingling too. This is the Christmas episode of Man School. I, I wanted to open his neck like an envelope. Like an envelope. Yeah. yeah. This is where you put in the promo, a little like Rudolph coming across <laughs> the screen. Jesus. So, and then I was like, oh, actually, I'm a, I'm, I'm a little junk mail at Dante's house. You know, I thought, about, I thought about my son. I know I'm stepping on your story, but it's just too big of a statement. I want to open your neck like an envelope. It's too fucking... Jesus. Bing bong. Uh, <laughs> Go ahead. I'm sorry. So I... I um, But I was I, my son, and I was like, I'm going to be the bigger dude. Not that I was going to open him up, uh, but I would have I would have definitely said, you're going to shoot me now, you punk bitch in front of everybody, you fucking idiot. You have nothing but wit- like I would have gone and I, I, just, I didn't say nothing. I turned around. I'm like my son, but and I still see me opening that dude's neck. Of course up you do. For yes. For two years later, I carry rage from confrontations with me an unhealthy amount of time. <laughs> <laughs> sure. So, it's easy sure. to do, especially in this world, right? Because. When I was younger, there was all sorts of little violence. I, I wasn't a big tough guy settling scores, but you could do something and get away with it if yeah. you had to. Yeah. Now I you shot, can't, and everybody's people, aware of that, so I everybody's a, tight. I tell people st- I shot a fair one on 40... It wasn't a fair one. It was three of my dudes and five other dudes on 47th Street and Broadway by the movie theater. Cops let it happen. It was a whatever. It was three on five, but we, we were doing good enough. They broke it up. And we all went home. For those of you not watching from prison or New York, shot a fair one. <laughs> Means that uh, it's just a fair fight, no weapons, uh, mutual combat. Knuckles. I believe Knuckles. is how the police Mortal. write that Mortal, up. Maybe. Mutual combat. <laughs> and they, and combat? Yes, you please. You can do that and just. Would and you care for some combat? Yeah. I got. Here's something I definitely want to bring up. Me, sure. and, me and Harry had a. Uh, we had a, we had this conversation. We were talking about relationships, yeah. I mean, you know, as we often do, as we're known. And uh, Harry said, "You know, as a as a man in a relationship, there was, there's so much more responsibility and so much so much sacrifice that you make. Sure. It's all sacrifice because the your value is based in your ability to provide and protect. Sure, yeah. And so by that definition, you." That just means that you must sacrifice bigger, which is one of the things that we say on the show all the time, that um, put your happiness first because if you don't, she won't. And, and the, the background of that is that if I have a woman, my responsibility is to protecting and serving and making her happy and, and so on and so forth. If I fail in that, then that is looks badly upon me. Even if she is... A, unquenchable <laughs> it's still on me and so if i don't put my happiness first mm. i will put her happiness first which will mean i will have nothing because i'm not even considering that I'm well happy. we're already we're always considering their happiness right regardless that's, that's, a, a, that's a given right that's the default that's the that's the default buying a car without a without yeah. a steering wheel you have shit. to do it that's right. part of the relationship is you you're always working to appease them in some capacity or make their lives because it's what it's this, it's what the do. definition it's, of a man well not just that it's how the courting process begins sure, right sure sure you, sure you want to buy them dinner you right. want to take them out you want to make them feel special and a right. relationship is supposed to be an extension of that right uh, a lot but, of times it just ends up to be a lot of bodily fluids on faces <laughs> and angry texts. Well, that, that's supposed to happen. But <laughs> that's also a gift. Harry said something, <laughs> and he was saying to me, you know, Which it's, is this? it's it's interesting. You'll, you'll recognize okay. when we get there. Uh, it, he was like you. He says he was brought up in a way that you just. You all, that's what you do is compromise and, and relationship yeah. of compromise, relationships are compromise. And then he says, if you think about, we were talking about, look at, uh, like, uh, honeymooners, honeymooners. and, and I, and then I said, yeah, but look at the Brady Bunch. Yeah. Look at, well, the honeymooners was always my, my whole thing was when you watch the honeymooners, it's always Ralph going, I'm sorry, I was wrong. I'm an idiot. Right. Baby, you're the greatest at the end of every episode. Right. He'd fuck up, do something. Baby, you're the greatest. And you rarely saw it go the other way around. But mind you, at that time, you could legally beat your woman with That's a stick true. no bigger That's than true. your thumb. So that yeah, was, yeah. was that. That's that true. true. But 
I also cited things like like um like the Brady Bunch like um Father like I love Lucy. Yeah. I, Lucy was always Lucy the was fuck, fuck up, up all the, the time. Play. Yeah, you know. And so was it? I don't think that the images were that so much yeah. as as I think we. You know, it's just you go relationships are compromise. You make compromise. And he and goes, also, oh, I'm sorry to jump but in. But you were saying compromise in terms of the fact that you're, as a man, you're always going to make more sacrifices. And then I said, wait a minute. We were talking. I said, wait a minute. And I Googled the word compromise. Hmm. Yeah. Right. And then it's almost, I want to read. Let me. The definition of compromise. Because what we do is we think as a man, the compromise is, the compromise mostly that works in a relationship is, I do everything you want me to do, yeah. <laughs> and then you're happy. And because you're happy, then I'm not bothering you. You know what I mean? But when you read the Which is what we settle for. That's yeah. what we... It's almost like that's what we see it as. It's like, I'm. she wants to do this. Uh, all right, I'll go to the ballet. I'll do this. But it, this is the, def, the actual definition of compromise. It's an agreement or settlement or of a dispute... That is reached by each each side, mm. making concessions and ability to listen to two sides in dispute and devise a compromise acceptable to both. Acceptable to both, yeah. So yeah, yeah. it's a situation where it's not just I you want you're upset because you want me to do something you want me to, and then I go. It's a compromise on both sides, and I think as men we don't think of compromise. As both sides compromises, we think of it as okay. As I got to do something I don't want to do, right? When yeah, is which this, is not a compromise, which is something when we we talk about that. I said this is something that I have, and we've been doing this podcast nine years, and I've never made that clear. I've I've always said that, but compromise means that both parties are are, are benefiting from the from. I mean, we don't get everything we want, but we also get what we want, and I think that is the problem. That we don't perceive it as 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 it should be an even yeah. split. Yeah, I think if you put it in layman's terms, a compromise is giving up something to get something, right? Yeah, but fair you enough. You don't sure. give up everything, right? Right. To get right. something, and that's the distinction. And I think you're more making. over the what time. happens is the compromise is uh, all right. I'll do this thing if you shut up and leave me alone. Right. <laughs> well, that's in hindsight not a compromise. Yeah. You know that's not how it should work. Like, all right, I'll do what you're complaining about. So long as we stop talking about it. <laughs> it's also the basis yeah. of every like sitcom yeah. in the yeah. past 30 yeah, yeah. years. Conflict, yeah. Every fucking commercial yeah. Is, yeah. is basically the same uh, as The Honeymooners, right, which right. is, oh, I had a crazy idea and I'm misguided, but yeah. you, you. Right. Yeah. You're Thanks, the best. Episode, yeah. Thanks for <laughs> raining me in. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for spending all this money I earned to treat me like an asshole. Yeah. It's a lot of and that's the yeah. that's the thing. I don't think we really look at that. Um, and then what we what we think is at stake, we just assume that there are things at stake. I, I, it's a crazy thing. I just did a consultation with a dude who I don't give nobody's name, but I always like he was a uh, he says to me, man, I'm, I'm really interested in uh, in learning how to practice integrity. Young dude. He goes, you know, I, I, I feel like I've, I've, I've been in this situation with my girl and I just feel like I've been a fraud for all this to the point where he says my girl actually bought her own wedding ring. What? Oof. Okay. Right. All right. So he goes, you know, I really feel like a fraud oh because God. she she you know, she wants to get married and, and I've and, you know, such and such. And he goes, I go, well, do you want to get married? He goes, well, you know, I mean, I feel like I'm, I go, that's a no. Because a guy that wants to get married gets married. And a guy that doesn't want to get married finds every way not to get married. Right. But I said, you don't, what you don't understand is, and he was like, you know, I just feel like I've, I'm wasted all her time and I don't want her to feel that way. And I said, and I, the interesting thing is I go, she doesn't give a fuck about you. I said, how long y'all been together? He was like eight years. So they've been together since they were 18. Okay. Same age. It's rough. And I go, and, and she literally went out and bought her own ring. Now, one, one guy would go, great, I don't have to buy it. But what she's really saying is, I don't give a fuck about what you want. So wait, j j just so I understand, she didn't wait to get the ring? Like, No. I, if I may, she's actually saying what you were saying to that fella about that parking spot. Yeah, oh yeah. You 
ain't gonna, gonna do, do shit. shit. Exactly. Yeah. It's and him, let me, I'm gonna get this ring, but she's also the. the no, the, I'm the, sorry. I just want this clear so I understand <laughs> the detail. She took it upon herself to buy an engagement ring for yes. herself. Did yes. he propose to her? Well, he is. They Good have been question. saying that they're going to get, get married. They're going to get married, and he Oof, never. That's, said, that's he a keeps, problem. He has said that he would get married. He has, right. but he has he goes, not. Proposed. I want to get the ring. I got to get the ring. I got to get the money for the ring. So he's using anything to move the goalposts because sure. it's not what he wants to do. So sure. she went out and bought, bought her, her own, own ring. engagement ring. Jesus. Yeah. yeah. And she thinks that that's going to do what? Well, because like, because she he has stated to her that he wants to get married. Yeah. And the reason is the ring. So she's moving that obstacle out the way. Yeah, they're both The day that yeah. happens, if it does, if the conversation doesn't start with, I know we've had this discussion, but are you fucking nuts? Right. You're not in a relationship. You're not in an honest relationship. Right, right. That is a batshit crazy thing crazy to do. thing to yeah. do yeah. and if you are soft enough to allow that circumstance like the tide coming in to mm. erode your own will <laughs> you will live your life unhappily under that woman's yeah. will yeah. not not you guys maybe it'll work out any no, she will have me brainwashed you right any bitch that goes and buys her own fucking engagement, uh, engagement ring, ring. Yeah. is going to be a yeah. problem for the next 40 she years is, mm. i feel okay yeah. with that statement yeah, you yeah. can quote me yeah yeah, yeah. You, I can you feel that. like you feel like 40 years from now you won't you won't have a uh, egg on your face you won't have been no. wrong on this no <laughs> yeah now she's nuts yeah. he is also wrong right for telling her yeah yeah i want to get married i want to get married yeah but you got to after so I said, how long have y'all said you were going to get married? He goes, for about six of the eight years. <laughs> oh, and Jesus. I go, well, listen, I get that you're full of shit because you keep denying the situation because you want to you want to keep what you got. I said, but you but what you don't understand is she knows you don't want to get married. It's for six years. If you've been bullshitting your way for six years, deep down she knows that you don't want to get married. But she doesn't give a fuck whether you want to get married. No. She, I, this is how I see my life. It's not and his marriage. You are the point. You are you're one correct. of the things that I put. You're the, you're the, the, the uh, ornaments on the table, the, the centerpiece. And but this is how I see it. And I go, if, no, if, somebody can, if a woman can do that to you, then how, if she don't give a fuck about you now... 40 years from now, what? It's going to be what you said. 40. Yeah, you, you'll, yeah, you'll be at the heart doctor from the stress of living with that woman. And part of that is, this is the crazy thing. Women are in love with the idea of marriage, my special day, my big day. Mm -hmm. The pageantry yeah. of one day yeah. where you spend a couple of hundred thousand dollars yeah. to let the world know this is the one, yeah. right? It's, yeah. It, the pageantry, that's really what the purchase is. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know a lot of people who have spent that kind of money on a what? It's just fucking nuts to me. Yeah. The whole it's idea insanity. is crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. trying to parse my words not yeah. to sound like a complete asshole, but I think that ship has sailed. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck, I don't understand why men do get married. This is why I sleep alone. They don't I, want to, for the most part. I don't think what most is men it? do. Most men that I know live yeah. in this experience vicariously being the age that i am sure a bunch of my friends got married and now they're divorced mm -hmm. yeah and every divorced guy is like it's just they you know uh in the end men are not treated fairly and it all comes down to math yeah and it starts with a ceremony that as i say is, math. <laughs> again yeah, yeah. about but it's all before the ceremony it's everything you do up until the ceremony things that that you do that you think are unreasonable, but you do them anyway. So yes, but this yeah. is a threshold from which you do not come back. Right. We I do agree. a lot of shit yeah, yeah. in order to get um, we get, there. get laid, to yeah. be with women, sure. to have a relationship, whatever it is that you are getting from that, sure. right? But once you marry them, <laughs> yeah. that that that's from there. They own half of what you have and yeah. half of what you will ever have. Yeah. Well, I'm looking into this now. What happens is it, if you're in now, if you've achieved a certain. I feel like this is I'm just five years away from being back here, like uh, right before my wedding. And you guys showing <laughs> me this. <laughs> well, so, so show, it at, show it at your bachelor you party. You fucking idiot. Listen to you. <laughs> Only a fucking moron yeah. would walk down the aisle wearing a fucking tuxedo. I'm going to send you the link. I, you know, 
I probably will. You know, who the fuck knows? This yeah. life is so crazy. I mean, if you can figure it out where it's not, it doesn't cost but, you a bunch of shit. If you can get a prenup, whatever. But I, I'm that's not part against of the grand delusion, yeah, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. It, yeah. it is a grand well, it's delusion. Also, I just want to say, if you have achieved, delusion, your, if you have achieved your wealth prior to the marriage... She's only entitled. I mean, there's a certain amount. She's only entitled up to the the stuff that you've earned in the time that she was with you. Well, let's acknowledge two things. Number one, mm. if I become wealthy, I will live like a pirate. Right. That's true. <laughs> in a lot of ways. So you'll have a pirate wedding. Be on a boat. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Your best man will be a parrot. <laughs> <laughs> I would like come to no. Beach Nine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if you want to know what the lunatic. You know, the everybody has the exotic pet idea? Uh, finger monkeys. You're uh, going to want to do just a little bit of research and get a, a, a finger monkey. A, right. a picture of a finger monkey to show everybody. Oh, I see. They, they're, they're really, they're, they're small super suits. They're called pygmy marmosets. They're literally monkeys that Inches could be on your finger. On your and finger. I want to get 11 of them and okay. name one Shafty. Okay. <laughs> this is, are they your groomsmen at this wedding? I, or no, this is I imagine unrelated this is to the wedding. But like, you They'll ever be at the wedding? You ever see sea monkeys? Yeah, like those advertised. Yes. Um, I would like to buy little suits for the finger monkeys. I, I have severe problems. It's is what weird. I'm saying. It's a little weird. It, no, it's How bizarre. It's so costs. beyond a little weird. Yeah, a little weird is getting yeah. married because your girlfriend bought the ring and forced <laughs> you into it. Weird, yeah. Having 11 this finger monkeys. Out. But he's got an out. Just stop doing it. Yeah, I don't want to do I, this no more. And that's the thing. That's what he called me for. And I was like, you you have to just go, no, I don't want to get married. I go, I, I understand you don't want to hurt her feelings, but she doesn't give a fuck about your feelings. She certainly doesn't. Yeah, so I said, I said, I'm, and I'm not trying to She didn't bad even mouth consider she, like, maybe he'll be embarrassed if I buy this wedding ring. Maybe nah, he'll be I want to do this. If I buy this wedding I ring. I want to do this and I don't care who the fuck, how we get there as long as we get there. Right. The ends and the means, you know, it, so... It, it, Does I, he even need to show up for the ceremony, or she'll just take care of that? Oh too? yeah, she'll just you know. Don't yeah, worry, just stay home. home. Yeah, just stay home. home. Right. She would I'll be have willing the wedding. To, to do the whole thing. Probably get you get you your tuxedo. She'd be willing to do all that. Yeah, of course. Resent you for it the entire time. Yeah. Bring it up. Be later. mad at you for be the for the, for the sure. rest of the wedding. But she'll do it because oh, yeah. that apparently yeah. is all that matters to her. That's all that matters. And I'm like, first of all, you're 26. The fuck is wrong with you? Sorry, I'll stay on topic. Yeah. Well, is, uh, yeah, go ahead. she you, winning bread? She the breadwinner? Is she the one who makes the majority no, of the money both, in this they're room? Both. They both broke as shit. Yeah, I mean, I broke as shit, but All they right. both. Maybe that was harsh. But, but I mean, <laughs> she's not the breadwinner. You know? Right, she's not. My, uh, I was asking, is yeah. is she knocking down like three, four hundred grand a year, nah, and he's nah, they, maybe making a hundred, and then you know, I don't know how many I've NFTs seen that she as has. well. Like, <laughs> sure, they, sure, there's yeah. a a, yeah. a a financial booing, yeah, from either sex. Yeah, there are times I would, where I would say this though, that's even when that yeah. is the ca- that even when that's a case, that's understood, right? Like at least for, it's, for men, even if it's unspoken, if, if a man if a man takes that deal, mm-hmm. he's taking that deal. That's correct. And he's going, this is what I signed up for. But, and he's going to hold his nose and fuck your fat, awful ass. <laughs> oh, well, there's plenty of women who are in the same position. Yeah, it's yeah. regardless of gender, that deal takes place where one person who is way more attractive will put up with somebody who's problematic in yeah. order to get at a pile of money. Yeah. I- I'm sorry if I'm shattering anybody's yeah. well, illusions. Yeah. But I'll, I'll also say that it's a situation where... You, the difference is men will make you. We don't allow you. You you're not allowed the ability to have fickleness about your word. You can break your word, right, this, but you can't. You can't say that and then go. I did it. No, there's women have a, a woman has a right to change her mind. Right, that is a saying. Right, right. it is a saying. Right, but men who don't keep their word ain't shit. Right, so right. it's quite the double standard. And I, I what's interesting is. You like even with the, and I you know even with the you know Weinstein and how horrible all that was I guarantee you that there was dudes that took that deal and and shut the fuck up because I look I made the deal do you know what I mean like no no like say for instance if it was a different situation where it was a dude and he was hitting up, hit getting hit on by a dude oh I see yes and he oh, was I'm taking sure a, or, or oh, hitting yeah, on yeah. by a woman or yeah. whatever and this, this is what the deal is 
Shout out to Brad Pitt. The, <laughs> well, <laughs> money, power, and sex. Uh, yeah. it, it don't matter what the But the difference the is, if, is. We, if you make the deal, you make the deal. You don't Correct. make the deal and then later go, he took advantage of me. I'm, even if he did, you made the deal. Right, but this is a matter of, uh, you know, a scoundrel's integrity mm. at yeah. this part, yeah. right? Yeah. So yeah. Also, what some happens, of the women didn't make a deal. Some no, of them were, that's, yeah, yeah. But I'm, that's I'm two not, separate things. Right, I just want that's that not clear. what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah. I'm not saying the people that were got blindsided or people that got forced yeah. or got whatever. I'm talking about people who went there knowing, knowing who the fuck he was, what he could do. You make the deal. Knowing, knowing his reputation. Well, yeah. Yeah. I think that uh, I understand what you're talking about, but I don't see that. Uh, in the case of right Correlate. with him Correlate? personally, he seems to be a guy who got off on kind of making it awful for women. That was yeah. part of it, yeah. hurting yeah, them yeah. in a way yes. psychologically. Oh, yeah. Whereas there are plenty of instances in you know every part of life where somebody fucks somebody to get something. Yeah, trade the trade off. Yeah, um, you know, I, but it, it's 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 also. I was saying to this dude. I was, I'm sorry, I took us on a finger monkey tangent. Right, right, right. <laughs> I left the finger monkey. Tangent. Uh, it, it's, it's all good. It was. In, it's interesting because he's like, well, I don't know. Like, how do I? How do I practice integrity? Is you tell you start the truth right now? You tell the truth. I and do you, not want to I do this. I do not want to get married. Yeah. I go. Or should you? Should you? I go. If you even if you care about her. Give her the opportunity to leave and go find what she wants Hell instead yeah. of you. Clearly wants to get married. Yeah. Yes. So go find somebody. Now, I, that never works out either because the reason why they want to get married most of the time is because they want to marry you. They don't yeah. just, they think it's just ma the idea of marriage, but it's not. I can't tell you. I think you. it's both to a degree. Sure. Okay. Depends. Yeah. Right? I think it's yeah, that's both, true. That's but true. they don't just marry anybody. Every, it's all, there are a dozen circumstance yeah, to handicap yeah, in yeah. this right is she older is she younger D does do they, i mean it's did they want to get married and then they don't want to get married did it's they a fall out of love yeah. grew with every, yeah, every relationship yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. it enough. can go a number of ways but the one thing is at some point if you decide you don't want to do it you, you gotta say you gotta, you gotta say, say you don't want to do, do it, do it. there is a difference along. here yeah. and it's very simple it is her goal to be married yeah right. it is not his goal to right. be married absolutely that is yeah. not one that That's you can quote unquote compromise on. Right. No. Right. That's not a is. compromise. Just That's is. yeah. It is what it is. And then we, we operate from That's that where another man what, would, what that is is emotional extortion. Yeah. Well, look at that. How about them apples? Like I just coined something for you and for this fucking man. Well, Emotional extortion. <laughs> <laughs> That's some Alex Jones like mm. branding right there. That woman is giving you some emotional. <laughs> Turning frog. Sorry. Today. You'll find you'll find more of it than that. It's just a, like they he doesn't even understand. Just tell the truth, dog. Tell the truth. Tell her that. Tell her what you think, and and give her an opportunity to release her. I'm about release to release yourself. Show you yeah. why we have this report. Okay. In the end, if I got to tell you to do good, what good it do I tell you? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's it's wise. Wise. It is. It wise, is. Joey. It's it's like come on, dog. I, I mean, you you really are. You're, you're, you're uncomfortable with your. This is the other thing I said, and the reason why you do this is because your self esteem is so low. And the reason why your self-esteem is so low is because you're a liar. You, you're a fraud. You know you're a fraud, but you continue to be fraudulent. And then you wonder why you don't think you have any value in the context of this relationship. It's because you're not bringing real value. You're not bringing truth. You're not bringing civility. Mm. You're not bringing empathy. You're not, be, you know, even discipline. You're not bringing those same things into the relationship. So you bring no, you bring nothing to the relationship. So you're always waiting for somebody to say, you don't deserve that. You, give me that back. It's not yours. It doesn't have your name on it. You're not worthy of that. And so you stay in a situation where you don't think you're worthy because somebody's treating you like shit and you deep down, you really want to, you just found a, a, a surrogate to. How old is this? Dude? It's 26. Okay. Yeah. That's when yeah. this shit takes place in your life in your twenties. Yeah. I find that as time goes on, people tend to get a little bit more honest with themselves and end up less. Or not. Well, There's that brew this, again. Right. That witch's yeah. brew. If, if he punks out on this. In his 30s, he'll be the guy who's railing against the court system because it's unfair while it's divvying up whatever shit he has. Yeah. 
It is, uh... And not, probably he won't be a fucking prize anyway. Yeah. <laughs> it won't be a but you learn But you learn a little bit about, like, that this is... Sometimes I think we view these things as one-offs, or this is situational, where it's behavioral psychology to a degree. Yeah. You have to handle it. I don't like saying all women are the same, but it's not that all women are the same, but human beings are all the same. Right, we tend yes. to do the same you shit. To it. Yeah. Right? All so people are the you, same. You go into it knowing, like... All right, I can't do this again. You, you yeah. should learn from it. Hopefully, yeah. like I can't string somebody along again. That ends badly. What, right. That's yeah. you that's, hope that they learn that. Yeah, you hope that you take the benefit of experience, which is wisdom. You hope you take that along to the next one. And like in my twenties, I had a whole bunch of dumb shit like that, yeah. where uh, I didn't necessarily. And I, as you get a, as in my experience, as I got a little older, I got better at it. And the payoff for being honest with women is, you know. Monumental. Monumental. It's tenfold the reward of being with one girl you kind of like. Yeah. Yeah. And you can. You tenfold. Can, you can change your mind because if she changes her mind, you're going to know. Yes. You can you, feel it. I can always feel it. Bro, I just broke mind. up with my girlfriend and the old, uh, this is about two months ago or whatever. But the best thing about it was, you know how you have this feeling and you're like, oh, shit, shit's fucked up. And then you go back and you date her for another nine months. And then you're hanging out with your dumb friend at two in the morning, smoking weed and eating fast food. And you're like, yo, last year when she was away, I knew I should have broke up. Yeah. I broke up with her the second the, I knew. What was the thing that? She was away and she wasn't responding to texts and calls. And all of a sudden there was a shift in her attention. And I was like, okay. What do you think? that was what do you think brought it on she's, or what was she's it? less interested in our relationship than she was it's just that you know she i think she had moved on emotionally or physically and i could feel it starting do to you, happen i caught it right at that moment was it anything that happened or just kind of no we just we were doing a long distance thing for a oh, long okay. time okay and i also if, as far as who i am a couple of years and they're out <laughs> I That's think, a good amount of time. Yeah, we spent. And, You're well, like an NFL coach. You know, you you relocate, you get there, a couple years, couple seasons. A little expiration yeah. date on that yeah. milk, huh? I I would uh, object to both those analogies. <laughs> 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 no man, whatever it is about me, I'm fucked up. I pick the woman who's similarly fucked up, mm. right? I don't have the benefit of all my wisdom. I mean, to a certain extent, we're creatures of habit. Yeah. I am as well to be like, oh, the bitches are crazy. Can't put it all on them. Yeah. One of the things I do better than I have before is I'm honest with myself. I'm definitely half the fucking problem. Mm. But sure. for those two years, ah! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my chef's kiss. Yeah. But, uh, I tend to have very good, yeah. intense relationships that yeah. last two and a My half years. My girl and I, so, sim similar thing for a while. At one point, she's like, you know, you, you talk a lot to yourself or whatever. Like, what's going on? I go, you think it's bad for you. At least you get to go to work. I'm stuck with me all day. <laughs> Imagine what's going on in here. I talk to myself out yeah. loud all the time. I, yeah. in fact, at times, will just put the, the fucking earbuds in, the AirPods, just so yeah. that when I'm fucking walking around. Oh, sure. You know. Sure. You ever forget that you have them in out of habit oh, on the yeah. street? All the time. <laughs> I've done that. No. You're like just walking around, you know, because for a while I had the long hair, so it was easy. And then I'm like, oh, no earbuds, no long hair covering it up. Yeah. Uh, now I'm just oh, a crazy the, person. Oh, are yeah. you talking about Yeah, like if I'm at the supermarket and yeah. I don't have my earbuds in. What was the resolution for this guy? Did he, do you know well, as of yet? I, Has no, he dealt I mean, with this issue? This happened today. Oh, I see. Mm. Okay. today before the show. I a, hot uh, rip well, from the headlines. Yeah. Look, all bullshit aside, yeah. all. In in a word, uh, this is a giant mistake for you to go through with, and uh, you need to speak your mind and say, you know, you need to be honest with yourself. If you <laughs> if you spend six years saying we will, and you, it's it's not something. If you made it through COVID mm. together, the two of you locked in a house. That is that is yeah. interesting. It's an. I mean, at yeah, that point, survive the COVID, right? But that also live, might speak to this guy's ability to, 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 to his to, resilience. He wants resilience. to take to a punch. The same. Yeah, he knows how to take a punch. But that's what it is, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. He, yeah. It's it's a, well, he just and I, I don't necessarily blame him. No, I feel I, the same way. Listen, I don't want to get married. I would say this. I can usually tell. It's it's an interesting thing to me when people go to therapy for years and years and years and they like nothing changes because I talk to a motherfucker for an hour and I can feel a shift 
in there thinking. I'll tell you why. You cut right to the chase. Yeah. You don't. What a therapist does goes. How does that make you feel? But Dante doesn't. <laughs> like do that. it's a big mystery. Yeah, you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? yeah, It's like one of those uh, choose, choose your own, your own adventure, adventure books. But, Dante, but with you, you're like, look, Nancy Drew finds the treasure, <laughs> yeah. motherfucker. He's the one who did it. Yeah. We know who did it. Yeah. He did it with a right. candlestick. With a candlestick <laughs> in, in the, the library. Room. And Colonel Mustard. <laughs> yeah. He don't want to be married. Yeah. And, you, and so I was So you'll talking, tell him, this is how it makes me feel. This I, makes me uh, sick. I, 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 yeah, he, he, but he definitely, yeah, there was a solemnness, you know, it was a solemnness as the hour wind down. And I and I was like, dog, look, I, I understand <laughs> that this is not easy. And then you probably didn't call me for this. Right. But you did. You you call me and ask me for the truth, and I it's funny because I had a I had a, another dude that was um well, this is interesting he, the dude younger dude shout out to my man because he he listens so he'll know I'm talking about him but he he um older older woman uh and he's a younger dude she had a, she had like a very uh liberal um life upbringing yeah um, okay. To, and not upbringing, but just and in her job, it allowed her to fuck all over the world. Oh my goodness! Yeah. Nice. Good for her. Nice. And yeah. she did. And she did. That's a hell of a perk. Um, got to the point where she would be talking about stories about to him random chicks that she hooked up with this in Spain or whatever, whatever, whatever the fuck. And then she wasn't fucking him. And so he called me up and I says. He goes, look, I'm just, you know, this is my wife. Don't she don't want to fuck, and she's not really into the sex. And, and I go, well, you gotta, you gotta leave. If this is, if this is non-negotiable, you want your life to be better. You gotta, you have to do something different. Um, so the, the, uh, he, I told, I started him on a plan. I have a plan that I take guys to. It's like man school. It's the, I'm working on the, uh, the, the internet kind of downloadable kids the downloadable school that i'm working on or, or course that i'm working on and i put it i'm putting him through stages of it and he's really uh first stage he calls me he goes yo i thought you was full of shit but you know i'm like well that makes me feel great but <laughs> he goes uh man my whole perspective is changing and then and i go okay now you got to do this and eventually you you got to leave right and then i asked him but i was at, i was putting him through the 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 program, the program I put through, through, and he didn't do anything. The following week, he didn't do anything. And I was like, dog, listen, I want you to know that um, if you don't want to do this, you you could not do it. Like, because because he he told his his then wife that he wanted to date other people and he want he was he was gonna step out and or they were gonna end it and she didn't want to end it and he was like, well, I'm gonna go fuck other people, and she was like, well, I don't know how I feel about that. He, well, this is not a negotiation, and she said, well, I still want to be married to you, and so he had the car plan. She just didn't want to hear about it and whatever. Um, all of a sudden, he stopped going through the plan, and I said, "Look, man, if you you want to go back to your wife, because naturally, when he had the opportunity to right. go out and fuck people, I she understand. started she started fucking him. She's fucking him and sucking him, and oh, it's so because it just he was so available to her, it was it didn't have any value. And the fact that now she was he was pulling away, he he gained a, a level of value. Um, and I said." it's okay if you just want to go back to your wife. If you don't want to be a player, nobody's saying you got to do threesomes and this. No, that's what I want. That's what I go. No, it's not what you want. Cause if you don't, if you, this is what it takes to get there. If you don't do what takes it to get there, you don't want to do it in your head. You want to do it. You want to make that decision without the work, but you got to put in the work. If you put up the work, I can get you there. I don't give a fuck who you are. I can get you there. But if you're the one, he, he got, he got mad and he fucking got mad. And he was like, he called me up again. And we had another call. And he was like, I, I'm fucking, I wanted to hang up on you. I wanted to curse you the fuck out. And I go, Doug, I, I said to him, here's the difference in you and me. I, my, I want to help. But the integrity of me keeping, telling the truth is more important than you liking me. Like, I'm going to tell you the truth. And if I think you're not doing the work, I don't want you to keep spending the money using me as a way to lie for your inadequacy because you're not willing to put the time or the effort in. I'd rather give you your money back and you go 
take somebody else's course and tell them, say how this, uh, and you be an example of something that somebody else did. I want you to be the example that I want people to look at and go, I need to fuck with this podcast. I need to fuck with Dante. I need to fuck with Harry. And these things work. So I don't like you enough to lie to you so that I, I, so that I besmirch my own integrity mm. because you want to be full of shit. Won't let you do it. Take your money. Don't call. Don't listen. I don't give a fuck. I don't, I don't understand telling the wife and then turning back. That's the bitch of the bunch right there. Well, when he, you say to you, something like that to your wife and then act upon it, that's I, how. I don't think he thought. I really the cat's don't think out he, of the bag. At I that don't point. think he thought he could, he would even be able to get away with it. And then when he did, and this is the thing, this is where the real integrity. When you gain control of your life, you you still doesn't. You, it doesn't make it okay for you to be abusive. You can't just because you have power doesn't mean that you exercise the power over people simply for the sake of doing it because if you do that then you're not righteous and then you you everything falls apart anyway because the whole premise once of again it, you become a fraud yeah you back again let's go on the um patreon yeah. patreon uh, anything you want to plug family nah all right you, social media nah uh, okay. what well, sure yeah i'm a uh, super joey gay on instagram uh that's it all right, cool. That's it. That's all for you guys. Harry. Uh, you can go to my stuff is at Harry Turjanian. At Harry Turjanian. That's where all my stuff is at. Just follow me on social uh, media. Yeah. Uh, don't forget the Patreon. Please sign up for the Patreon so we can keep doing this. Um, uh, you know me. Google me. Dante Nero. Uh, da, you know, whatever. One-on-one consultations. Dante Nero.com. Click on consult. Uh, GYBB, get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do to sexual revolutions being podcasted? I love y'all, man. I love y'all. Sign up, support us, subscribe. We are out.